What's up, amigos? Welcome to Dink Builder. Long time no see, right? Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be finally testing this cheap aluminum screen that I got off of eBay. So don't go anywhere. So today, I'm, I'm gonna expose the design where it says uh, your design here, but in Spanish, so I could print on some sample shirts. That way it can look more appealing to a customer where I'm showing the shirts just so they can get an idea of how the print might look like. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Oh, another thing. I am planning on making another CNYK video. And in that video I'm going to show you guys, because someone asked me on one of my videos, how do I, how would I go about and adding registration marks in Photoshop? So I'll explain that in the next video. Today, I'm just going to be printing this real quick. Alright amigos, now before I expose my little screen, since the only screens I have are basically all yellow and orange mesh, and I only have one small screen that's white mesh, and I haven't really gotten the exact time on it. Supposedly it's supposed to be one minute, but I'm always having issues with it, and I don't want to expose my screen, the aluminum, for it to be underexposed and to reclaim it. So what I decided to do is I'm going to use the exposure calculator, the one I printed with the actual screen printer film to test it out with the, my small screen. That way I can know exactly what time to give it on the large screen because again, I don't want to reclaim washing all the screens. So yeah, so I'm going to do, use this right now. Alright, so I'm going to use this screen and I'm really gonna need to buy a hum how do you say the humidifier? Because yeah, it's still wet, man. They're still still sticky. I mean, the other ones they dry pretty okay, but this one still wet. So I gotta hit with the blow dryer just to speed this process up. All right. Uh, two crazy kids in my face. Okay, so in case anyone out there who doesn't know how to use this calculator, there's different ways. There's instructions how to do it, but the way I'm going to do it is because on um, my yellow mesh, I give it a, a minute 40 seconds, and on this one, I'm going to give it, I think, 15 seconds on each one. And there's 10. So I'm just going to use this piece of wood I have here laying around. So yeah, I'm going to get 15 seconds, turn it off. Another 15, 15, so on. Let's see how this goes. This is first. Okay. So first I'm gonna change this. It's 15 seconds. Chickens. And if you want this timer, I have it on the link below. It comes very handy, man. 15 seconds. I'll squeeze it down. I'm going to use this as weight.
Okay, so I'm just gonna skip this so you guys can just see me. Okay, I'm done. So I'm gonna wash this off and I'll show you guys the result. So I finally got finished testing the exposure calculator on this wiring mesh. And I can tell 15 seconds, not good. I started getting good results starting at let me see. And uh, number six. So this was what let me see. 15, 30, 45, 50, 60, 75 seconds. Yeah, 75 seconds because again I gave each one 15 seconds. And six I started getting pretty good. Seven I got some but I think I don't want to risk it, but six is pretty good. And everything above Perfect, and for those who saw my, when I was testing my exposure unit the first time, I used the exposure calculator, the one I printed for with the banana as well, the one with the transparent paper that got printed out for this depot. And what will happen is, up here I will overexpose because since the film was not that dark, light started going through and that made me have issues. But I can tell with this one, since when we need a printer, the films are way darker and there's less chance of overexposing, which is really good because I have me less problems exposing and I don't have to worry about retaining screens. So yeah, so again, 75 seconds, good results. But just to be sure, I'm going to give it 90 seconds, just to be on the safe side. I'm actually going to expose my aluminum screen differently because it is big. It will fit in my little, that thing where I put the screens in. So I'm going to unscrew the glass and just place it on top of the screen. So yeah. Okay. So something is screen pretty. Sometimes you got to improvise when you run into an issue or problem. Like right now again, I mentioned my aluminum screen does not fit in that little thing. So I'm going to put a box. Grab a large pallet, place on top of it, okay so the pallet is too big, <coughs> so I, 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 I am going to end up using the sponge, now I have a problem now, it's too high. I need a smaller box, man. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I think I got it. Did not do feel this too close? I couldn't find a smaller box. That's an issue right now, having. So, what did I say? I said 75 seconds? 85. No. Normally it was going to be 75 seconds, but I'm going to give it 90. And the reason is because I'm afraid up here I might not get that well exposed since it's too high. And I have to go close mine because I have to hold this down. Yeah. Just in case. Because this is UV light. Whatever. I'm already getting tired. You see, this is why I want a bigger exposure table. Exposure, you know what I mean? There we go. Alright. Wish me luck.
so I'm back with my screen. Finally got done exposing it. And if you guys realize, since I did raise the screen higher, the distance between the light and this was a lot lower, which kind of caused it, caused it to expose faster. And even though um, the little exposure calculator that I used on the small screen, it wasn't really overexposing it. But that was because it was greater distance. This very small distance caused it to expose faster. And, but luckily, I didn't have that much issue. It just took longer to wash it off. If I had, if I was using the power washer, it would have been a lot faster. But no, I had that little squeezy bottom. But yeah. My only mistake was I kind of off center. My bad. But yeah, so I'm gonna load this to the press and I'm gonna print some shirts. Okay, it's time to start printing for a shirt. So I'm done printing the shirts, as you can see, pretty cool, I like it, so much that I had an extra shirt for me, so I could wear it here, in case you guys don't know Spanish, it just says your design here, so yeah, so these shirts are basically just so I could like have something to show to a potential client, that way they could, one, they could see the fabric of the shirt, as well, it, lo it looks more attracting having that design there. As well, at my work, I can actually hang it on the door so they could see, you know, people passing by, driving by, or walking by, and they could see that and they could ask, you know, what's that? You know, oh yeah, it's just screen printing. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And again, I did it with the aluminum screen that I bought off of eBay. <laughs> I don't know how many months ago, I, first time I barely used it. And I really liked it. I like it a little bit better than the gold because it's more lighter because it is thinner. But bad thing is it does come all the way from China. It takes like it took a month. I thought it was gonna take two months, but it only took one month. And pretty good. The gold up. I'm gonna test again those screens because as you realize when I test it out with this design. I was having issues exposing the screen and now since I have better film 
probably have better luck with them. And as I said earlier, when I was doing the exposure calculator with the small, small screen with the white mesh, it was still wet. Because right here, man, the screen stick forever to dry. And right now, it's already ending raining season, but still, my little dungeon, humidity. So I'm probably thinking of buying a, how do you call it? The, oh, I can't pronounce it. The humidity? Oh, whatever that thing is called to get rid of the humidity. Probably think of just buying a small one. After all, this is a little small space, and that way my screen can dry a lot faster, and I won't have that problem of. And that way I'll get rid of another problem with exposing. So yeah. But yeah, so that's all for today's video, and I'll leave a link to that screen if it's still available on eBay in case you're interested in buying it. And I am working on the CNYK print, doing my second attempt, because I. I was actually working on that today at the same time. I exposed the screens, I printed it, I separated the colors, everything, and I like the results. The screens came out awesome. But you're gonna have to wait later on till that video comes out because I've seen it printed. So, yeah, so make sure to stay tuned and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that video. And if you don't mind, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. You know, social media helps me out a lot as well as commenting on this video and if you have any questions at all just leave in the comments below or you could send me a message through my social media but in the meantime amigos i'll see you guys next time